Today we're in a Range Rover Evoque and we're going to talk about terrain response. Most Range Rover Evokes have four terrain response settings. So let's have a look at what each one of those does. So this terrain response setting is the normal one, which is the road mode for normal driving. And this deals with your four wheel drive uh, or it will decouple into two wheel drive when you don't need four wheel drive. This mode is grass, gravel and snow and that will tighten the traction control systems. It will set your shifter here into second gear to start so the wheels don't spin and that's looking for slippery conditions. This is your mud and ruts mode and again that will tighten all the traction control systems. It will basically make it permanent four wheel drive. It won't go into two wheel drive. It will preload all the differentials. Then we have sand mode and that will change the way the throttle response is so that you have a sharper throttle. And when you back off the throttle it will hold the power on for a few seconds so that you don't get bogged down in the sand. This is the train response system in a Discovery, the new Land Rover Discovery and you can see it's a little different to the Evoque that we talked about earlier. Now this one has five different modes. Uh, we can get six in the, on the dynamic. So we have the same four we talked about before, regular road, grass, gravel and snow, mud and ruts and sand. We have the addition of rock crawl because this car has a low range gearbox right here. And you'll see in the middle we have auto terrain response. Now when we select auto terrain response, that'll take a little bit of let's say mud and ruts and a little bit of grass, gravel and snow so if you're in a little um, like a driveway a gravel driveway or something it'll take one of these and a little bit of this so it selects what it knows it's going to need and it will even deal with the rock crawl mode in auto terrain response